Good morning guys. I'm gonna take up my heatless curls. I just woke up and I have a good feeling about this one. We're actually going to visit a project, a place we're about to renovate and move into. So I'm excited to show you guys the before. But first we're just gonna get our day started. I didn't use these products yesterday and my hair looks really, really frizzy. So I used these products and I feel like the heatless curls actually turned out so much better. They smell so good. So we are currently at the spot we are going to move into in June. We're so excited to be doing this. We've been thinking about it for a long time. If you've been following me on Instagram or TikTok, you would know that I've been doing a reno series. So I'm also sharing it here for you guys to follow along. This is a spot that Clay and I will be moving into in June. And right now, this is the before. We are so excited to have a fireplace. This is something that I love about living in Seattle is those cozy cold days next to the fireplace. We're taking down this entire wall to open it up and just have more of like an open flow concept between the kitchen and the living room. Over here, we're putting the dining room with a different light fixture. And since there's already a formal dining room, we were trying to figure out what to do with the space on the other side of the kitchen here. And it was either gonna be a dry bar or a walk-in pantry. And you guys like pretty much unanimously said to do a walk-in pantry. So that's gonna be so cool. And we chose the hardwood and all that but we have not chose the finishes for the kitchen yet so be sure you're following me on Instagram because I've been asking you guys for your choices in all these little details and you've been so so helpful because I'm so indecisive this is gonna be one of the bathrooms that we're completely gonna be renovating basically the whole place is gonna be renovated so I'm excited to pick everything out I'm debating if I want to do black or more of like an antique gold kind of brass color for the faucet and the fixtures but everything's going to be just completely upgraded this is going to be either a closet room or a workout room haven't decided quite yet and this is the main bedroom which opens up right now to a balcony so we're going to actually extend the room and have that be this entire room instead of like the balcony there and then make a walk-in closet and then this is the attached bathroom, which is gonna be pretty similar to the other bathroom. I just noticed this second while recording a voiceover that the faucets are actually completely different, but that's not gonna matter. Um, the shower is also gonna be a little bit larger. And yeah, just like little things like this, I'm so excited about changing and seeing the just like difference um, our innovation makes, and I'm excited. We're gonna be putting the first holes in the wall right about now. It has begun. So it's finally happening. We got our first couple dents for demo and we're excited. You excited, babe? This is my excited dance right here. Oh. And you're with the shoulders. Oh. Like this. oh. And I come and I spin. Them. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're pumped. Yay! It's gonna be cool. It's got so much potential without this wall in. Yeah. Super excited about that. Have a fireplace, bookshelf in the corner. Yeah. And dropping these windows down. Right here on the windows. Woohoo! Hey guys. So, big day today. We are currently on our way. Two. It's the first time Viv and I are gonna be flying together with no one else in the plane. Just us two. Clay just got his pilot's license literally, was it yesterday, the day before? Uh, it was on Friday, today's on Sunday, yeah, it's a couple days ago. And this is something we've been looking forward to is being able to just hop over to the San Juans, just us two. So we're so excited. And if you're not familiar with the San Juans, they're these beautiful islands just off the coast of Washington and I love it. I took my senior trip there and it's just beautiful. That is what we're about to do, so excited. <laughs> right now 
headed to the Mariners team store. <laughs> they invited us to have a little shopping spree and both of us coming from Seattle, we love going to Mariners baseball games. All right, we're at the store now and we're definitely gonna get some hats. So they have like this whole area to choose from. So many choices. I really want something like, kind of like a vintage oversized bomber jacket, which is really cute. And a jersey. Yeah, we gotta get you a jersey. Oh yeah. <laughs> Who that? Who that? All right, here are the things that I got from the Mariners team store and today is officially opening day and it's super nice out so I'm really happy and we might go today but if not we'll go to a game soon. I wanted to share with you guys what I got and I feel like this is a really good like capsule type of wardrobe for baseball games. So first thing I got is this jersey which is like a darker color and it's like this. I did get this in a men's small. I do like the look of like an oversized jersey more than a fitted one. I tried on the women's ones, but I like the oversized look more. So this is what I would wear with it on like a nice day. I have a black top on with some black biker shorts and white Converse and then the oversized jersey on top and then i also wanted to get a white jersey for just like a different color scheme and it is this one which is a women's large so it's a little bit more fitted than the one i'm wearing right now which i thought would be really cute with jeans because i didn't want like two oversized of a jersey with jeans just got these jeans from abercrombie i love how they fit they're so comfortable and i also just got these shoes you guys voted for me to get for my spring sneakers i got these really cute ones that have a little bit of like a beige kind of like nude color tip so i matched that with this top which just ties it all together all right next staple is hats i got a white hat and then a colored hat just to go with whatever outfit i'm wearing that day and this is such a staple because you can wear like any casual outfit and just put a hat on and like you're on theme so i styled the white one with this look i'm wearing a navy blue skirt from abercrombie this white top that gives me kind of like golf sporty vibes from aritzia and then this is a new hat they just got that's going to be in-game hat um for the season it's new and i thought it was really cute multicolored. last staple piece is a jacket or a hoodie something to wear when it's cold out or to bring with you when it starts getting colder throughout the night i fell in love with this jacket i love the oversized vintage vibes and it's a new addition to the mariners team store and i'm so glad i got my hands on it it's so cute and i thought i could just pair it up with something really casual some denim shorts some sneakers and a black bandeau obviously you can wear whatever underneath but i thought this was a really cute look good morning guys currently sitting here and it's monday morning i have my cup of coffee and i woke up not feeling that well i went to sleep at like eight last night I got home from the cat cafe and I was just exhausted. I had to uh, drop off my brother and sister, which was such an amazing time to be able to spend time with them. And the cat cafe was so cute. And then we had um, Shake Shack, which I haven't had in so long and it was so good. But anyways, I got home after dropping them off around like seven. And right when I walked in, I was just like, velcro on the couch and i ended up falling asleep for like an hour and then got up and was like so disoriented you know that feeling when you fall asleep at like earlier than bedtime or like middle of the day and you like go into a deep sleep and you wake up and you're just like where am i um, i never do that really i don't usually take naps for that reason because i feel like disoriented and just throws off like my sleep schedule but last night i was just exhausted so i ended up going to bed after taking a quick shower at like uh would have been like eight 
8.30 or 9. And then I didn't wake up until like 8 this morning, which is not usually what I do. I usually wake up around like 6. Especially on Mondays, I'm just like ready to go. So I think I'm getting sick because I just do not feel like very energized. I do have to get my grocery shopping done on Mondays. That's just like the dedicated grocery shop day since we just have enough food for a week. But I just wanted to chat real quick and I want to catch up a little bit. So like I journaled yesterday and one of the things I journaled about was how I'm grateful to be spending more time with my mom and my sister. So my mom's mom um, passed away actually this past week. And so I've been visiting my mom. She lives about 40 minutes away from here. So I'm grateful that we've been able to spend more time together and just bring comfort, especially to my mom. Um, my grandma lived in Vietnam and she never was able to come to America um, to even visit. So I didn't really see her much and she only speaks Vietnamese. So um, we didn't have much time together, but she was just like another version of my mom in the sense like they are both such kind-hearted and just like salt of the earth just beautiful people so um i'm just grateful that i'm able to see my mom and spend time with my mom um, i know that she would have wished she could have had more of that with her mom so i've been thinking about that a lot lately and it's something that i've been journaling about and just reflecting on that i want to spend more time with my mom because it isn't guaranteed i'm gonna cry but I just wanted to share that because that is something that's been going on. And yeah, just being there for my mom is like super important to me right now. And I hope that I can show her the love that she has shown her mom and me and my sister unconditionally. So love you, mom. I wanted to share also like um, I told you guys this in year's intention. One of my intentions was to become more um, active and work out more and specifically Pilates and I've been incorporating more strength so I, that way I can just um, continue to challenge myself otherwise it does get a little bit repetitive and I don't want to get bored so a thing I'm doing is just switching up a little bit and doing things that are a little bit out of my comfort zone within this and little baby steps are just how, for me, I find myself feeling like the momentum to keep doing something because it keeps things interesting, but it doesn't like waver my sense of accomplishment because if I can't do something, um, especially that I want to enjoy, like it's something that I want to enjoy. So I want to share some of my equipment for at-home workouts because I know that some of you were mentioning um, you are also introverts, so I think that's something that I guess society doesn't always like um, talk about is what it's like to want to do things but feel like your introversion is an obstacle, but it's something that we can definitely like find solutions for that work for us that may you know not work for others vice versa so i have some at home weights that i just got from target and they're so cute and i just look forward to using them because they're adorable but i wanted to show you guys so let me read the camera over so my new setup right now is i have my yoga mat like you guys have seen right here and i always keep my yoga mat yoga mat by the door so it's like a choice for me to you know grab it i don't want to put it away anywhere where i don't see it just on a daily basis because i will forget to bring it out so that's been a huge part of just being consistent is putting in a place where i can actually like make that choice of yes or no and i don't have to think about you know where it is and forget about it oh here are my little weights and they're so cute so these are 15 pounds and then they go to obviously smaller sizes. I have my weighted ankles that come in different colors that I love for my ankles and also your wrist you can do. But I thought these were so cute. And then I got a rack to organize them on but unfortunately it came defective. So that uh, one of the parts is welded in wrong so it won't hold a weight properly. So I'm going to see if I can exchange or return this. I like having it out, but once again, for the same reason of wanting to find a, a way to make it obvious for me. So make it cute, make it obvious. 
make it happen. That was so cheesy, but it's true. Um, yeah, like I'm noticing as I'm talking, I have kind of congestion, so I'm definitely getting a little bit sick, which I haven't gotten sick in a while, so not that I'm excited for it, but I'm like, it's been a while, so it's about time. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this week's vlog. I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for being part of the journey of new beginnings and um, just being so supportive and all your kind words definitely don't go unnoticed means the world to me to hear that you enjoy these videos and i'll see you in next week's video love you